Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Gimbal's Tip of the Week, where we provide you practical suggestions on how you can become more efficient and build a more profitable and productive law practice. I'm David Skinner. Before I get into this week's tip, I've got some very exciting news. We're super pleased to announce that the International Institute of Legal Project Management has appointed Gimbal as their exclusive global advisors for legal process improvement. With a network of global experts in legal project management and process improvement, and graduates in over 40 countries, the IILPM represents a worldwide community of legal professionals focused on improving legal matter delivery and legal service operations. Karen and I are honored to serve as IILPM's global advisors and the only internationally accredited training providers of IILPM's Legal Process Improvement Professional Certificate. For more information about IILPM and the Legal Process Improvement Professional Certificate, check out the link in the show notes below. Okay, so now back to the tip. For the month of December, we're giving you a challenge each week. Last week, Karen challenged you all to eliminate redundancy in your writing. If you missed it, there's a link in the notes below. Today, we're challenging you to boost the profitability potential of routine services and commoditized practices. Many lawyers cringe at the thought of their practices being considered commoditized. They think low value, high volume is a bad thing. We don't. We think potential, big potential. In a commoditized practice, the deliverable is basically the same. Any law firm can deliver it. The lawyers are fungible, and the service is a product. Margins are typically thin and fees are usually fixed. But you can find this kind of work being done in almost every law firm, regardless of its size. And most lawyers work on their commoditized services the same way that they work on higher value work that's built by the hour, inefficiently. And the impact of that inefficiency is worse in flat fee routine work, where every minute that you waste hurts your bottom line. Today's challenge is to take one small step towards efficiency. Choose one routine service that you deliver. Look for one that's high volume and lower value than some of your other work, possibly with a fixed fee. Allocate one hour, just one hour, to thinking critically at how you deliver that service now. Write down the steps, including who does each task and what tools they use, if any. It might be a practice guide, it might be a software, it might be a checklist. Identify the wastes. Use our eight wastes workbook to help you. There's a link to it in the notes below. You will find waste. And it's not just a question of looking for the low hanging fruit when you're hunting for things that you can improve. As our friend Art Wilson likes to say, there's plenty of rotten fruit on the ground. Art's a project manager at Faskin Martino de Moulin in Toronto. Look for a step that you can eliminate, a step that you can automate, even if it's creating a simple template in Word. Look for a task that you're doing that an assistant or a clerk or a junior can do for less cost. Every small improvement that you can make in a fixed fee routine service that you deliver will make you more efficient and make your practice more profitable. And that's it for this week's tip. Join us next week for another tip on building a more profitable and productive law practice. You'll find links to some of the things that we've talked about today in the notes to this episode. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it. And maybe add a comment or ask us a question and we'll get back to you. If you want information like this delivered directly to your email inbox once a week, sign up below so that you don't miss a tip of the week. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you next week for another challenge that will help you become more profitable and productive.